Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing? Hope y'all made everything. Ugh, hope you made it a great week. If you can't tell, I'm not feeling well. Um, I have been, I've had COVID back in January. I've had my first dose of the vaccine and getting my second dose next week. But this week I came down with something. I was like, oh, it's just allergies. Then my husband goes, well, my son has the same thing. And he's like, well, what if he's got COVID again? I'm like, oh, surely that's not it. But it got, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> this is the world we live in now. So guess what I did yesterday? Because I leave Saturday going to the romance travel forum in Mexico. I was like, mm, I don't want to get to Mexico and get stuck if I happen to have COVID. So I went and got tested again. And let me tell you, I got the rapid test. It sucks. Get the PCR test. Of course, I think it depends upon who gives you the test and where you get it. But oh, my stars. I thought, I'll just get the rapid test. It'll be easier. Uh, -uh Was not pleasant. Was not fun at all. It was way worse than the PCR test, in my opinion. But anyhow, it came back negative. So I'm good to go. Even though Mexico does not require a COVID entry form, I went ahead and got tested just to be safe. So this is officially now a cold. So who's had a cold this year? Nobody. We st <laughs> So colds are back. Just letting y'all know. All right. So this week, let's talk about cruising. Yes, we have had great news in cruising this week. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm a huge cruiser, love cruising, avid cruiser. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. It is my happy place. And I'm ready for a cruise. I haven't been on a cruise since November of 2019. I think that's the last date. I think it was conference. Um, but anyhow, so cruising is going to be starting back up out of the United States in July and August. They are still working out some issues and there are some major hiccups but they are officially announcing that they are starting back in July and August so now is the time to book y'all okay so everybody wants to know what my opinion is about cruising and right now I can tell you I've probably had I don't know nine cruises that I've got booked and canceled and rebooked and canceled and rebooked so I've been pretty skeptical recently but I'm seeing enough activity that I feel confident telling you it's time to book your cruise I'm not going to tell you to book in July or August because I think that's probably a little too soon. Uh, September beyond, I feel pretty confident about. We've got a group going to Alaska in September. If you want to join us, come on, September 25th. It was supposed to be on the Norwegian Bliss. Now it's on the Norwegian Encore and they've modified our itinerary a little bit. And I don't quite understand why they did all that, but I don't quite understand why they've done a lot of things the way they have. Here are still the issues that have to be worked out. Issues with Florida with the no vaccine requirement. Uh, law that they have in order. And now Texas this week voted in that same law. I don't know if they voted it in or if it was pushed in. I don't think it was voted in. It was pushed in where they cannot require people to show proof of vaccination to do business with someone. So there's that. And then there's that 95%. The CDC is saying that 95% of everybody on board has to be vaccinated. Well, pretty much all of the crew is going to be vaccinated is my understanding. Now, granted, what I'm telling you today could be completely different come Wednesday of next week. So don't hold me to this because even the cruise lines are saying, we don't know, but this is where we think that everything's headed. Um, if you are vaccinated and you go on a cruise, it's looking like you will not have to wear a mask. Now, cruising is the only vacation that you can take where they can really track you as well as they do because everybody's on board one place for a solid week or three, four, five nights, every how long you're going. So they are saying that if you're not vaccinated, you will have to wear a mask and they will be able to track that because let's face it, we have to do an online check-in. When we get there, we have these little cards they give to us and we wander around with them. So it wouldn't take much to track that. And so kids are a different story with Royal Caribbean and Carnival. They're trying to get around the kid thing, but they're saying they're not going to require kids to have vaccines, but they're still going to be selling at 95% vaccinated people on board. They have not explained how they're going to do that. Uh, they're saying there's some algorithms they're going to run and it's going to be based on available, how much, what room is available and that kind of stuff. So they're going to monitor it as it goes. My guess is that they're going to, it's going to be on the honor system. And we're going to, when we are um, booking a reservation with a cruise that they're going to ask us if we're vaccinated. But in Florida, Royal Caribbean has said they are not going to require you to show your COVID vaccine um, card. So they get around the Florida 
law that way by not requiring you to show the vaccine card that you got. I think they're going to use the honor system personally, but that's just my personal opinion. We will see. Come next week, we will have more announcements coming out. Now, next week, I'm going to Mexico to the Romance Travel Forum, so I will not be as available as I typically am, so if anybody has anything, just be patient with me. I will get back to you, but it is a super duper, super duper busy week. I will be meeting with 30 vendors face-to-face, one-on-one in two days, plus seeing one, two, three, four different resorts. So I'm going to be super busy. So just bear with me. I'll get back with you. And hey, y'all, it's time to start traveling. Now it's time. Oh, oh, and one more thing. If you're wanting to travel somewhere this summer, eek, it's going to be tough. I got lots of last minute people calling me wanting to go here or there. And Finding availability, one is hard. Once you do find availability, it's pretty pricey. So if you think you want to go somewhere in July, it's time to do it now. And if kids don't, if you have kids and they don't start back to school until mid-August, you might want to consider, let's go right before school starts. So just some things to think about. Y'all reach out to me if you need anything. Y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye.